Rangers, my name is Nash, and welcome back to AC Wars. Today we have the curving, well, airstrikes, or slashing strikes. Okay, I can't remember what I did exactly wanted to name this, but Ninja Mode and T Rift Cuts for Tori and Gemma. Here's the thing the reason it's this one, because it's actually different. In a way, they actually they go down, they curve back up. But the other ones, all those other energy attacks that, well, Zanaku, let's see, Ziggy. Korag and all the other ones that do a similar attack, all of them just go forward. They all just strike, but these ones, they go back into the air if they miss anyway. So you can dodge it by using a strike or simply dodging gemmas, and you'll see something happen. But in this case, well, like I said, that's what happens. They'll just curve right up and simply vanish. Vanish in the sense that they didn't, they don't even, okay, yeah, they all daily explode if you miss them, but in this case, they left the screen before they even did. Well, it goes tripped, stunned, and sliced. Here's the thing, this is why there's only those two assists, with Gemma and Tora being the only ones. Because they are the only ones with these types of uh, attacks. Other ones do have curving projectiles, but not specifically an energy wave. You could say that that's what makes those ones unique. Cyclone, the should still reach, and sweep, stunned, and sliced once again. Now, I do have to avoid their breaker, so I have to use the direct aim to stri strike them. Well, they ended up using uh, Devon, so I'm just going to launch them with a Skyship Blazer. It only works uh, in some cases, but there, I was just not that close to my corner. It will not work in theirs or uh, directly in my corner, but it will work in the middle of the arena because, well, the projectile travels. I have to block here. Well, I can block here with, a, well, another washdown. So, energy mode into a Skyship Blazer. Here's the thing, I need to land a direct aim if I want to do something specific. So, back away, I can dodge this one, and cycle and four poke into a nice mode. You can tell, that's exactly what I want to do. So, energy mode, yay! And yeah, you can tell, it's slightly curved back up, but now I just need to poke them, poke, and you're out. Gemma's one goes to a slight angle. Well, Tori's one just goes down quickly, and I, it's barely, it's not that easy to see it go back up, but it still does. Energy mode, and cyclone. Now here is a Chunli Ranger, which we do need a block for. I need to get rid of Gemma out of my assist slot, otherwise I'm going to get caught in a lot of attacks that I do not want to be hit by. Skyship Blazer, you can tell, even though she does have bad recovery, it kind of almost didn't work. So in a way, I think, yeah, they didn't travel far enough. The stagger wasn't far enough. So, okay, really lags like, okay, Skyship Blazer, you're not going to land that one. Direct aim, so kind of just want to land a bit of extra damage. Even though maybe I could have kept it for a Cyclone to combo after. Why do I... I have to respond to the first hit, not after them. Okay, Cyclone, this one will continue. Yeah, I, here's the thing, they have too many blocks. They're mostly using the... The other... Okay, the morphed Street Fighters, that's what they're using. Energy mode once again, and yeah, I should have used Sky, Sky Shift Blazer. Okay, I can dodge that one, and I get poked. Okay, let's see, so... Okay, they still have enough energy. Oh, okay, that's... Not gonna end so well, okay. Crash of Blazer, they didn't do anything, poke with the Cyclone, and now, okay, I need to watch very carefully. Well, direct aim, and let's see if I can actually land something. Yeah, bad recovery for Chun-Li Ranger, and then they didn't realize, they got, they stood back up. There could be three reasons why they didn't stop that. One, they didn't have a block. Two, they, they didn't realize they stood up, and number three, well, they didn't have the energy for a block. They had one, they just didn't have uh, energy, energy to do so. But that's rearranger. So, energy mode, not happening. And cyclone. This is still in range, Tommy. They have double breaker assist, which means they're more breaker heavy than they are using strike. So, poke with the cyclone, and they just use the breaker. So, direct aim. I'm gonna have to kick you and fire. Like I said, the other ones, like Daggeron and a few others, those ones are technically curving projectiles, but they're not curving slices or is just like the other ones, like, like I've shown already. They're not. They don't look like projectiles, you slice the sword through the, or dagger through the air, and what it does is it leaves them with a, okay, pretty much just, it leaves an energy wave to strike the opponent. And yes, Tommy was just caught in the air. That attack does put him in the air, but it's quite hard to hit him because of how fast he goes back to the ground. So, okay, never mind, no, I used the, said the wrong name, but I ended up failing the direct aim anyway. So let's see, so how about another direct aim? And they're out of range. Okay, block him. That's not happening, Sam. Up you go. Now I should be able to get the energy for a Cyclone. And now I can... I should be able to probably block Kaya right here. But I'm not going to. Never mind, they do that. And yeah, there's Sam again. Fine, energy mode. Energy mode. Into a direct aim. 
Probably just, th those are important utility attacks. So the fact that I just rotated them out was not a good idea. But you still get launched by a washdown. Am I, ex am I not expecting another uh, Sam? Nope, that's just another Kaya. Here's a uh, ice mode. This time I'm gonna show max range energy mode. You can see, slightly curves down, but I can still land a cyclone. And so we enter the final match for Gemma. So far she hasn't even lost to anyone, but yeah, her test matches went incredibly well, even though I did barely any. Okay, Sky Shift Blazer into Cyclone. That was a reverse launch, just so you know, so that's why Antonio kept his stacks until I got he got hit by the Cyclone. Back away, and let's see, that's Daishi. Pokemon, never mind, that's not going end well. Uh, okay, I guess another Cyclone, you do not have the energy to do anything, so I'm going to strike you with this and knock you away into a Sky Shift Blazer. I'm a block back, two in fact, so that works. And I'll, there right, I blocked way too late, but they didn't cancel that one. It's not a true combo, be aware, especially since he also lasts way longer than a block. Okay, Daishi, just get launched. They should, uh, okay, yeah, I really actually should have just dodged that. I really should have just done that. Here's a direct aim, very far range, so Sky Shift Blazer actually lands, and yeah, there's a block, ice mode. Six ones for Gemma, can Tori do the same? We got way too many blocks in this uh, Tommy, so let's see. Surfer kick. Nope, and I couldn't even, that's not fully a, okay, technically is a breaker trap, but it doesn't, you can't block that fast. You can't block, uh, block an attack that soon. Okay, supposedly they only have blocks. Poke, and surfer kick. Okay, now they have a, a strike and a breaker. That I know. Poke, and another surfer kick. Nope. Never mind, they actually had more than that. that. They didn't end up rotating. Okay, you can activate your super, or what's gonna happen? Secret combo, and suffocate! Now you'll be stunned by the ninja beam. That's another block. I need my metal slot. Seriously, that's the whole th point of this video. Poke you again, surfer kick, and block you. That's another ninja beams. Yeah, uh, I can't do anything there. I have no block, and that's Adam. Okay, activate the super. No? Okay, ninja beams. Get stunned. Now, let's see if I can land a few C-Wave Cuts. And you'll see how it curves. And, once again, C-Wave Cuts. Launch it once, once again. And, okay, dang it, I used it way too late. Let's see if I can maybe get away with a few things, but they use Adam. Activate the Super Mode. Nope, they don't even use it at all. Mistake was not fully learning when I can actually start, uh, more like when I'm supposed to use Ninja Beams. Because one, uh, yeah, that thing has barely any recovery. Let's see about testing it here. And, land. There we go. Now I should know. As soon as I land, that's when I can use it. Probably just a bit after it, but yeah, uh, at least you can tell. At least it, it, this time it didn't reset it, even though, yeah, it, it did, I don't think it mattered that time. Though it did help me with rec recovering a bit more EP. That's a bit less than they did anything. Ninja Beams! And that took way too long. They landed, they bounced, and then they used the Larian. So let's see. Okay, they still have the energy. What are you gonna do? You know, you just kind of lost all the ability, to, you kind of lost your ability to attack. See with cuts, this time, okay, li yeah, you can't cancel that anymore. That's the only issue. You lost the ability to cancel that, and I end up missing that. Okay, see, see quick combo. That's a block. Can't block that one. And I guess, uh, see quick combo once again. I can block there, and kick you. Ninja beams. And I don't think I'll be able to land a see with cuts, so let's see. Poke them with secret combo, and Silver Kick! Obviously through mistakes, already Tori has lost one more than Gemma. Obviously Gemma got a perfect six, but come on. Okay, this person has pretty much... Yeah, they have only blocks. But their weakness is breakers, because they just use the breaker, and apparently Tori's dash is not fast enough. They said she had a... she dashed further back, but apparently that did not escape Valorian. And yet her hitbox is also smaller, so I don't know what happened there. See wave cuts. Okay, lag spike, really? Okay, just get launched into the air. Okay, this should be a good spot, and I block there. Okay, lesson, you're not gonna be landing that. Get launched, and there. Though, here's the thing, I need them to use a strike that doesn't hit me at the same time. Poke. Yeah, there, they do it again. Ninja beams, and see wave cuts. Now you're being locked, knocked away. Well, it looks like we have Sam here, this time. So, Scorpion Assist has, looks like it's gonna be helping him. Okay. That one I can cancel. Ninja Beans? That did not work at all. Though, here's the thing. We at least managed to defeat some of them, but yeah, Tori. Yeah, they're gonna have to defeat another Tommy. And that missed. Okay, Sky Shift Blazer. Though, the thing is, with a few stuff. Uh, yeah, that person had way too many blocks. 
Secret combo and Surfer Kick. Stop using Adam. Uh, I'm likely to get poisoned again, so poke them again and see Surfer Kick. Yeah, I kind of need to delay it a bit more, but I don't think that's how it's gonna work. Let's poke them again and there we go. Finally, I got them to use Scorpina, but that didn't really help me. I'm just gonna keep using my first slot. They're not gonna do much. I can continue this one. And now, let's see, recover to four, block here. Okay, dodge this one, see my cuts, you are gonna get launched. Well, that's, uh, that happened. Apparently they pretty much, yeah, they didn't really get to hit me anymore after they got their first few hits. Okay, Ninja Beans, that, atta that assist less, just a bit longer, but many have already adjusted to how, but the length of the, the, the block. Still. I would say Blake is still better because he gets out of it sooner, so that's, uh, well... Now, in that sense, at least you can counter a little, just in case you see the attack. See what cuts, and it gives the opponent less time to react to see it, so there's that. Listen, I'm expecting Connor. Yep, well, you're getting launched once again, and... Secret combo. Yeah, okay, I don't know if Gemma got a perfect, but Tori did, but she did get a loss, so I, I think I'm evening it out, but... Secret combo! Into a ninja beat. This should at least help since it gave a bit of time to travel. Now, nah, okay, this time it doesn't matter. The thing can just leave the recovery anyway. It wasn't really. The, the cooldown wasn't gone yet. Okay, see where it cuts once again and get lost. Now, Mizagog, what is it gonna be? It's gonna poke you and surfer kick. Come on, don't, don't you. D okay, right, the, the foot is also the wrong way. Well, ninja beams. And now I should be able to do something. Yeah, no. We got rid of the perfect. Okay, let's see. So how do I end this off? Can you use a strike, please? Come on, I tend to use a strike. Uh, I wanted them to at least l dodge. Or at least miss a first... Okay, I wanted a them to at least stop me from hitting them or doing damage. And possibly I can jump away. And they can then they can dodge the projectile so we can fully see it just go through. There is an old video I have that has it curving up in the background. But I don't know if I actually still have it. Yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, these are the only two that do this. But like I said, there are others that cause that strike waves like Dragon Shield Kimberly, all those other ones. But they do not curve down and then go back up. Other ones do have projectiles that do that, but they're not they're not slices through in the air. So yeah. They're not energy waves. They're energy shots, you could say. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to give it a like, comment if there's something you would like to see. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss anything. And join my Discord, it's in the description. There's a Patreon below that. Swarm in there and your name will appear around this time in the video. And also in the next, Pound this video. Goodbye.